Okie dokie, folks. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do for your vocabulary.com assignment. So make sure you're navigating with the link that I gave you on this document. So I'm going to click on the link for the correct list that I'm playing and it'll take me to vocabulary.com. You want to make sure that you are signed in. See, I can see my name here in the upper right hand corner. If you're not signed in, the website will not save your progress on the list. Once you're sure that you're in the right spot, my Romeo and Juliet Act 1 vocabulary, you're going to make sure and bookmark it. It's right here in this dark gray area. Bookmark this list. That'll make it accessible to you later on to check your progress. Then you're going to scroll just to this area right here and click practice. Mine says resume practice because I've already started practicing the list. So when you click on it, it'll bring you up some questions and you'll go through this practice session. Notice down here, it tells me what question that I'm on. Each round or each practice session um, is about 10 questions and you can return to the list at any time. If you need to look back at the actual words, all you have to do is scroll down and it shows you each word and the definition of the word that we're using specifically for our book. And it also shows you your progress on each of the words. Now, when you're ready and you're done and you're all set, ready to turn it in, here's what you do. Up at the top, there are these three little lines. You're gonna click there and go to my lists. And when you've bookmarked it, it should show up here for you. And it should show your name up in the top corner. It should show the title of the list here, Romeo and Juliet Act One. And over here on the right, it has a percentage. This is your percentage of the list mastered. So this needs to be at 80%. Once you have that there, you can take a screenshot, a photo with your phone or a video with your phone and upload that to Google Classroom by the due date in order to get credit. If you have less than your 80% list mastery, it will not count for a grade. So it's 80% or higher to earn credit and Anything below that will not earn you credit. You can turn your vocabulary in all the way up until the day of the quiz for that act. If you turn it in after that point, it will not be worth credit in the gradebook. Please always ask me if you have any questions. I hope this video helped.